Welcome into the latest edition of ESPN FC. I'm Dan Thomas, joined in the studio today by Casey Keller and Sebastian Salazar. Later on in the show, Ilka Gundwan will be joining us to reflect on Manchester City's success last season and looking ahead to his new season at uh, Barcelona. Plus, Sid and Jules will be here to discuss the possibility of Kylian Mbappe maybe moving to Saudi Arabia for a season before he goes to Real Madrid. But we start uh, with the news on Shaq, in case you missed it yesterday. If obviously, uh, Shaq had collapsed ahead of the game at the Rose Bowl between Real Madrid and uh, AC Milan. Uh, we've received so many, so many messages uh, from everyone. I'm pleased that Shaq has, has recorded this. Well, that was awkward. What a 24 was this has been. Listen, every so often in life gives you a moment to pause, and, and this was mine. There's so much I have to be thankful for. My wife, kids, family, loved ones, friends, people I've shared a space with over the years and have lost touch with for, for whatever reason, and I've reached out either directly or indirectly. Thank you. My response now has to be to seek out the best medical opinion that I can get and listen to what my doctors have to say. Um, in closing, I'd, I'd like to say thanks to Dan and the ESPN family, the camera operators, the medical staff at the Rose Bowl, all who responded in the way that they did and afforded me the care that I got. Thank you. I know now that even when we argue and disagree, I have the fullest support of each and every one of you. I'm looking forward to getting back, doing what I enjoy doing most. See you in a bit. So, so good to hear from him, to, to see that video. And I can just only reiterate, it's weird kind of when we do this show, we do it in such a bubble, don't yep. we? I think you forget of the people that are watching or, or are listening. And when, you, when you're part of this show, it's organic. You know, when Stevie wants to punch me in the face, he wants to punch <laughs> me in the face. Yep. You know, there's nothing, yep. nothing made, made up about yep. it. <laughs> but we're like a big family. I've had Frank and Casey over Thanksgiving, yep. for goodness sake. It's all real. Everything you see is real. And what you realise when these sort of things happen as well is that you at home watching this feel part of the extended yeah. family. That's really cool. That is a great feeling. And I understand when everybody saw that happen, obviously it was like seeing one of your own. And it just is the best feeling to see Shaka. Of course, it's, it's a long road now just to see how he's going to get on. But he's got the support of us, the love from us. He's going to head back now and be with his family. And we're stuck with Seb now. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 